Hey, Tuesday the 19th of June here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Alec Ferris with Buddy the Dog, and we're going to bring you the unboxing and first look of a really cool case that everybody's been talking about. This is the NZXT Switch 810. Now, I've heard some people out there in the reviews call it NZXT. Now, I've just got a question for you guys because I understand they do this overseas. Just honestly, where in the fuck do you get the ED from? I mean, it's NZXT, right on the box. I'm looking at it across the room. Where's the ED? Now, either I like, got lost in the 60s in some drug haze or something, or you guys are just spacing, because over here in the States, everybody calls it NZXT. That said, let's get that bad boy set up over on the table. Let's look in the box and let's see what the NZXT Switch 810 has to offer you. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got the Switch 810 right here on my desk. I've got my giant sword here. Now, this thing is from Russ Farrell Cutlery. This sword is called the Frost Giant Sword. That's right, it's cold-blooded, cold-blooded killer sword. And we're gonna use that to unbox this thing. Now, in shipping, this thing's been whacked around quite a bit. So, I think if I just turn this thing on its side and do a mighty, check this out. And then here we go with the sword. That's right. So you saw it here first, the very first Super Sword unboxing with the Frost Giant. That's right. Check that out. It's inside the box. Now I'll go ahead and set my trusty sword back here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of its box, right onto the old table. Take the giant box and throw it right the fuck at the camera. No, I won't. And then, honestly, who will film the video if I kill the cameraman? Buddy the dog can't do it. Buddy? Nah, I don't think he can do it. He's not qualified. So, get this thing out. Yeah. Now this is a giant full power case. Man, this thing is big. Just keep taking it all out of here. Before I even unbox this thing and go any further, let's just take a look right at the bottom since I'm there before I even take it out. I'll go over some features in just a second here. But let's take a look right at the bottom. Removable dust filters. Very nicely done, very well made. They lock in, unlock, rubber feet all the way around, nice. Looks like you even put some additional one in there, additional ones in there rather. So since we already had there, let's go ahead and set it here. Remove this. All right then, kaboom, kaboom. Got the manual, got the case. Now let's just talk about some of the general features of this case. So you guys can see this case is white, obviously. Uh, it's got external 5.25 bays. It has four internal 3.5 bays. It has nine expansion slots. As far as cooling, it comes with two 120 millimeter or 240 millimeter fans. Optional, depends on which ones they use. The top is supposed to have three by 120 or three by 140 millimeter fans or one by 140 millimeter fan, which I think is included in this one. Yeah, in fact, as I go back, it says this one has one by 140 millimeter included on the front, one by 40 millimeter included for the top, one by 40 millimeter included for the rear, and those are the other options. On the bottom, it has two by 120 millimeter or two by 140 millimeters, those are also optional. And on the interior, it says it has one by 140 millimeter included fan. From motherboard support, it supports just about everything. EATX, XLATX, ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX. So lots of stuff there. Now that we have the case out of the box, we can see here in the front that you see the five external bays. One of them actually has a front, so you could use your standard CD player in conjunction with it and still maintain the front face. As we move up, this piece right here, that is the NZXT logo. This piece also pops off. You can see there's a fan filter inside of this. This thing is also removable by screws. I don't really suggest it being a washable piece and it's kind of connected to your computer. We have the first of the fans right here. See it's spinning around in there. So this particular front panel doesn't actually seem like it would fully pull off. I guess that it does though. I'm pulling it down to the bottom. I don't really know about removing that yet. You guys can see there's the on button and something sliding around inside of there. So I'm kind of leery about pulling the front cover off and there's any damage to it. But I guess in the spirit of the unboxing, I guess I should try to take it apart and see what we can get here. So popping piece up there. So you see the whole front piece pops off. Even comes with the removable screen coming out together. Totally removable. Dissects the case, spin it around. 
This is the bay for your CD player to make it look flush with the system. You guys can see that, pretty cool stuff. Let's check this out also. Here's a removable drive bay right here, which can accommodate either SSD or a standard hard drive. And then we'll move up. These are all your external connections right here. You have one that controls your LED lights. You have your restart. You have your headphone, your microphone, card reader, dual USB 3.0, dual USB 2.0, and a little protective cover to protect it all. Now let's take a look at the top of the case. There are variable little fins here that you can turn. And this thing also completely is removable. Now this is an awesome design for those who are using water cooling. You'd actually be able to fit up to a triple rad right here in the very top of this. This thing is totally geared for water cooling, which I think is just fucking cool. I really like the way this case is going so far. Everything in it feels quality. The plastic is a very soft plastic. There are no sharp edges whatsoever. You can see it's quality painted inside and out. Very, very nice. This is excellent for water cooling. So far, so good. So now let's take a look at the rear of the case. We can see there's a fan right here. There's plenty of excellent stuff down here for routing all of your water cooling tubing. Room to go in, room to go out, even additional. You can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine external bays. So you could probably do four-way SLI in this case as well. Power supply mounted conveniently at the bottom of the case. Thumb screws for taking off the sides. We'll go ahead and remove those now. Moving all the little screws. I'm gonna be honest with you folks, uh, I do a little cheating here. These things were not as easy to remove by hand. You would have to probably get a tool to remove them. I and the camera hurt my finger. I finally had to go get one of my trusty knives and just use it. No big deal. They probably put these things on with a tool at the factory, but man, were they tight. And then let's take a look at the inside of the case. Let me maneuver the case back around. By the way, let me hear your pins in the side window. A lot of you guys complain about weird designs, but I think this one's pretty cool because it's going to show all your stuff inside of here. So you're not going to really be getting too much cut off. I think it's pretty adequate for what it is. Remove the side panel. Very easy. It's not a cheap side panel. It's made of solid metal. Very well made. Now, let's get to the inside of the case. A lot of stuff to look at. Right here on the side, you can see all of your drive bays just clip and lock in place with these little goodies right here. You got little clippy things right here on the side of each one. Just pop them, clip them back in. Little button, pop them, click them, bring them back in. Let's tell you each one of them works anyways. Down here, interesting. Removable bays, get to the screws, they pull out. They also have little removable screws right here to do it. I'm not gonna just take the whole thing apart though. You guys know what those are. Then let me see if I get the camera to get the camera inside the case. It's gonna be kind of a hard angle. Let's see if we can refocus and get in here. Now, inside the case, you're gonna see something very interesting. Right here, we have power for eSATA. We also have the power for the eSATA as well. So you can install an eSATA drive right in that bay right there, and all the powering and functionality, everything is right inside there. You see, we have another fan right here blowing air up into the system. Pretty cool design. Pretty cool design. I'm liking it. Now, Inside, all very, very smooth. Got plenty of room right here to access your back of your CPU. Lots of cable routing management. Here are all the cables. There's a lot of these here, including the USB 3.0. So like if you're using any motherboard that didn't come with one of the breakout boxes, you just plug this in and hey, you're up and going. Flip it around, show you guys lastly the other side of the case. <laughs> okay, now you folks can see that removing this was a little bit tight as well, but usually from the factory after all the fresh paint and everything that does happen. After that, it'll be up to your discretion. Now, cable management. Look at this. Plenty of room for cable management. Can almost fit my whole hand all the way inside of here. Plenty of routing. Excellent cable service management right here. You just plug your wires into here instead of having to go inside the case and make messes. Good cable management. You're not ever going to see this stuff. Once you put the back of the side on, all your cable management can all be routed back to the back. Here on this side, you can see all those removable bays we're talking about right here. You can see there's a flexible membrane. No screws needed. Got plenty of bays here for all of your expandability all the way down. And then the bottom drawer, there's a little surprise. It's like a Cracker Jack. No. These are going to be your accessory products right here. 
your screws, your cables, extra equipment, all kinds of stuff you're going to need all inside this little box. So, wow, a lot of stuff here with the NZXT Switch 810. So, hey guys, you guys see without totally dissecting this thing and putting a system in it, you guys can see this thing has lots and lots of features. This is actually one of the finest cases I've ever seen. It has everything you're going to need. Expandability, plenty of room for cable management, lots of bays, no sharp edges, ability to get to the back of your CPU, just tons and tons of room, and also it looks elegant. Just from first looks, I'm thinking this is going to be an editor's choice case here at Tech of Tomorrow, but we'll see once I put a system in here and see how badass this thing can really be. See ya.